What's up guys? Today I'm going to be bringing you a video. It's kind of a hybrid. First part's going to be a tutorial for beginners and the second part is going to be a review of the game. So this is Universe Sandbox. It's a space simulator, tons of customization options. It's a lot of fun, great physics in the game. And this is what it's going to look like when you first open it up. It's a pretty realistic model of the solar system there's things missing you know your computer wouldn't be able to run everything if it was in there you know earth doesn't have a moon you can add it in the more things you add the slower the simulation gets so down here at the bottom left is the pause and play this one rewinds that one fast forwards so this is how you're going to control all your time this first one is simulation stuff um collide um there's also temperature gravity collision this next one is view you can turn on labels trails or you can have orbits instead of trails and there's also a goldilocks zone and a grid system that's going to make it easy for you to you know place things correctly the last one is tools on tools there's uh lasers exploding stuff gravity waves there's a bunch of stuff in there the average person when they start playing is just going to explode things and use lasers so you know that's where they are is in the tools in the center of the screen there's also a camera function where you can take pictures or take videos i don't know the quality um, there's a pretty much trying to make a habitable planet section it's called planetscape and you can add water ice that kind of stuff so if you go to the plus icon at the right side this is where you're going to add your stuff so you can add in planets and stuff but where i'm clicking right now is still uh this is going to set something down so it's still the second one is orbit so it orbits something uh the third one's binary wait to use this until you get a little more comfortable with it it's binary star systems and the last one is launching things at other stuff so you know planets at planets stars at stars planets at stars you can launch them all at each other i'm sure you're going to start with that too most people do so in these tabs you know you got your stars your planets uh your moons your miners which are like asteroids uh meteors and dwarf planets and then you got items uh you know right here this is going to be me placing a tesla roadster um, there's a lot of different stuff there's like a pyramid a sperm whale um you know the tesla roadster there's satellites there's a police box you know doctor who reference uh, a banana and then next you know there's galaxies you can put down the milky way i think the andromeda is on there and there's some other ones as well the next one's black holes and then you can have your own items and then these ones are rings you can't put rings around galaxies i tried the last one is just going to be launching stuff as well you know that's just another way to get to launch this option is to search um you can search planets and things like that they might have the one you're looking for they might not so at the top left of the screen we're going to click this and we're going to click new so this is an empty simulation this is something that we're all gonna make it's uh why you play the game so i'm gonna put down a star here <clears throat> excuse me specifically the sun and then you know if you click on it this tab pops up and there's all sorts of customability there is you know mass radius more things that i'm gonna list uh, you can change uh, the temperature, what it's made out of, you know. It didn't really respond well when I tried to make it all out of water, um, but that's besides the point. So next we're going to come in here, we're going to place a planet, you know, let's choose Earth, might as well. And we're going to click orbit because we want it to orbit. So we're going to zoom out and you're going to see me fail, but we're going to eventually zoom out and we're going to get it to 1 AU. Uh, the reason I chose that is just because one AU is the is an it's an astronomical unit, but it is distance between Earth and the Sun. So I'm placing it correct, like reality wise. So zooming in, you get a pretty cool little look at the Earth. So you're gonna see me kind of destroy the planet and stuff, and then we're gonna kind of mess around a little bit in the in game, and you know, mess with lasers, things like that. Well, that's going on in the background is going to be the review section. So when it comes to this game, I rated it in five different categories. First one is creativity. 
I gave it a 10 out of 10. This game is, you know, even though it's a simulation, it is extremely creative. There's so many things you can do. They're always adding new things. I saw somebody posted a Elder Scrolls solar system that's, I guess, mechanically correct. The next one is going to be the game mechanics, just how the game functions. Um, I think it's very smooth. They, you know, could have added a little more tutorial section that's up front right when you start the game. But, you know, everything is there for you to learn. There's not a, it's not super complicated. The next one is graphics. It's a simulation, so it's not going to be fantastic. It's not going to be the best ever. So I gave that an 8 out of 10. The physics of this game are incredible. And the only way I've gotten to break the physics is by just doing dumb things loading in way too many things and you know increasing the time as much as i can and it'll throw things off orbit even if they're supposed to stay in orbit this last one is where it brings the the total score down is the long-term enjoyment this game is fun it's fun to mess around on it for 30 45 minutes you know maybe an hour after an hour this game gets a little repetitive a little redundant there's only so many things you can do before you just want to play a storyline of sorts so this brings the total of all these to 8.8 .8 out of 10. overall it's a great game you know i definitely recommend it it's a lot of fun i think the average person would love it i think the space enthusiast would love it i think a physics nerd would love it i think somebody who hates science would love it it's just all around fun so that's the review now the next thing is to tell me what you think if you like this game and you want to get it if you have any more questions ask me feel free if you do get it you make some stuff let me know what it is i'm excited to see it so thanks for stopping by if you enjoyed and only if you enjoyed follow and consider subscribing if you did not you know hey stick around for another video and if i earn it i earn it and i will see you in the next one